Hey students, welcome to your week. And in this week we have exam one. So in this video, I wanted to go over the content for the exam, kind of show you exactly what's there. All of the stuff is available now and I can use this video to kind of introduce you or let you know what is there and make sure that you see how to get started, especially how to review what we've done so far before you actually start the exam and then a little bit about the exam itself. So let's start off by looking into Blackboard and kind of outlining what you can see at this time. So let's take a look. Now when you open your Blackboard, you ought to be able to see your weeks just like you always have. Week one, week two, and really starts the content right here. Farm accounting, chart of accounts, different types of accounting standards, how to keep records. Those are the things that we covered in week two. Week three, week three introduces cash flow budgeting. That's a large part of the test, as you would imagine. We actually did cash flow work, and so you want to make sure you have those Excel files, the work you did, homeworks reviewed. Week four was the same thing. Week five moved into projecting, taking a cash flow budget and projecting an income statement and a balance sheet, also a very big part of the exam. And then week six also gave you that as an assignment and how to do that work. So these are the weeks that you're going to use to prepare. The, the, the homeworks and the activities that we've done hopefully have gotten you ready. But you want to go back and take a look at that. Now what I've got for you here is week seven, which really is just a review talking about the same things that I just covered. Make sure that you take a look at that. Now that kind of gets you ready. So what's the test look like? Well, the test is in two parts and you can see those right here. The first thing is an Excel file. In fact, I'll download it and take a look at it. We pull this Excel file up and this is your a test really is a cash flow Excel file like the homeworks that you've done. In fact, as I pull this up, let me see if I can get this open and we'll take a quick look at it. Um, this Excel file, again, very similar to your homework, so you want to make sure that you take time to look at this. And you want to do this before, where did it open to? We want to do this before you actually start the exam, which is listed down here in this section. So the, the idea is this exam is going to be one that you complete about 15 or so multiple choice questions. All right, here's the Excel file for the homework or for the test. And it gives you a set of instructions. Uh, we are a hay business. Our hay business is going to get all the cash it needs from investors to buy equipment and get it started. So that's kind of what this is all about. The resource page lays out all of that. You can see the cash from investors. We're farming 400 acres of hay. You can see the expenses and you can see when they happen. And then you can see you've got some fixed costs like depreciation. Um, salaries. Um, you've got equipment that we buy. We didn't finance any of it. We paid it all with the cash from investors. So the question is, does that work? We've got some income here and you can see the times that we actually sell the number of bales and the price per bale. So from all of that, you will build a revenue and expense sheet on when those expenses and income happens. I've already got a few things in here like salaries and depreciation and equipment, but you will fill out the rest. Really everywhere you need to work is what has these gray areas. After you do that, then you'll be able to do a cash flow budget, just like again, you've done in your homework laid out here. I've already got the categories placed in here for you that you could use. That then guides you over to a profit and loss statement. Once again, the gray areas are where you'll be writing formulas and bringing in values and then a balance sheet, the same thing. All right, so that's the Excel file. What you do is you do that first. Get that done first. There's no time limit on that. So get that started. You should begin this before you start the exam. That's the whole point. So get that part done on your own. Once you get it done, make sure that you save it with your name in the file name for this. So change that name to be your name. Once you get that done and you've kind of got it reviewed, you know what you have there as far as cash flow budget, then you can open up the exam. You got 90 minutes to complete this exam. It's going to ask you some questions that are just basic questions from the weeks. It'll also ask you about specific values in that financial cash flow budget. So you want to make sure that's available to you. It actually has a question that you need to upload 
that file and that's what will get you completed on exam one not very many questions i think 16 total actual questions and then one really big question where 30 percent of the test is to upload that excel file showing your work in the excel file that you do make sure you write formulas make sure that you follow the things that we've learned throughout the homeworks in this section and then you'll be fine i will be checking for your formulas i will be checking for the values and i'll also be checking for common mistakes that i see repeated across multiple files that's going to give you into the neighborhood of cheating so make sure to do your own work make your own mistakes make it really clear that it's not uh, somebody else's work if it is then you just get a lower score on that and that'll cause you some problems because it's worth a large portion of the grade all right so hopefully this review helps you see what we're going to do this week it's all about the exam the opening times and dates are listed on the exam so take a look at that that is a big portion of our week that excel file again something very important to do and part of that exam first after you get that done and organized you know what it is then you can go to the actual test Go ahead and give yourself time. Get started on the next cell file first. Don't wait till the last minute. Then you can open up the test and get it completed. All of that does have to be wrapped up by the due date. So make sure you get that uh, in your calendar whenever you're going to work on this and get time. Hopefully this video helps you see how to get ready and complete this week's exam. Thanks.